to drink out of out of a, a jug is fine because you get 500 mils of water, which is good. You're supposed to have like in a day. You're supposed to have a few liters. So you're getting you're getting like a quarter of your water. It's it, you got a handle to hold it. You got a little bit for your mouth, and you just sip through it, and you don't have to keep filling your glass up. You can have a water bottle. But that's stupid because you got to clean out your water. It's hard to clean. With that, you can just clean it so easy. I am Aquinas. I'm 19. I'm from Newcastle, New South Wales, Australia. I feel like I have to make music, you know? It's like my like surrogate, my outlet is music. I mean, I, people, people have their own things. It's like people read, people play video games, people watch movies. But for me, listening to music and then as a result of listening to music so much and loving music so much, just making music was like the natural progression of me expressing myself. It's not easy because you've got to teach yourself how to actually do it. And some people don't need to teach themselves, I don't think. Some people are like natural. For me, I don't like play instruments really except the keys. But when you see like most people are like, oh, I'm a musician, I play this, I play that. It's like I have to say like I, I don't really do any of that. I don't know if I'm doing it differently because I know there's people that do it like me. But it's like if I try to stop or take a break, it's like, I feel bored, I don't really know what to do. I don't really know why I make hip hop. Like I was like 13 years old and I guess I was just trying to be edgy. I was like, what can I, like how can I rebel? <laughs> so I was listening to like gangster rap and stuff and like Snoop Dogg and Ice Cube and then I started listening to Eminem from that, which is a bit of a weird like progression because it started with Snoop Dogg and then went to Eminem. So many people like listen to Eminem as like a first rapper, but like I got into him a bit later. And so I listened to all that and then the first, like, newer artist I found that I really liked was Chance the Rapper and Childish Gambino, those two. And that was, like, 2014. I found both of those guys. So, I, like, it sounds weird, but, like, I've only really been listening to, like, hip-hop music for, like, five years. I'm really attentive to, like, what's going on in music. And, like, when I say in music, I mean just, like, what's happening right right now. I don't know much music history at all. Like, I don't really know much about the past in music, but I know a lot about what's happening right now. And when you're so focused on that, not focused, but when you see that so much every day, it's like you're always thinking of new ideas based on what you're seeing. And so when you detach yourself from that a bit, you can you can start to shape your own identity within that. And I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Like directly musically, as an influence, the only thing I can the only thing I can think of on the album that like I was like okay this is like my this is like something I want to do because of this person is when I start bonsai with the doom 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 like because Pharrell does that at the start of all his songs and I was like because I had the intro and the intro kind of like dragged out for a bit so I was like why would I make an intro and then do a whole intro to bonsai as well it like doesn't make sense I want bonsai to start straight away but I didn't want it to just like go because like it I start off the first off the first uh, beat. So the beat comes in, but like the word ship, like you need to kind of build that word. So it actually starts a bit off beat. So it's like ship inside. So it's got that like sh sound before it. So I'm like, how can I fit that sound in and start the song straight away? I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just have the four, the four beat intro that Pharrell does. And that was like kind of, yeah, that was like my one direct influence. Ship inside a bottle, we could trim a bonsai. Tell me about your dream. I could tell you why it's worth a try. Every sun flower with these shades. Every sun shower with these rays. I played around in the album a lot with like kind of like obscure synthesizers and stuff like that. Tame Impala, actually. That's like a big influence. Because I made the song Professor a long time ago. Like I made that towards the start of the year. When I did that, like really high pitch, like, Jay -jay. I was like, I was listening to so much Tame Impala then, and because he, he, Kevin sings in like that really high register, I was like, I want to kind of do something like that. I remember, I remember that was an influence as well. The album launch. So before I put the album out, I released Bonsai as a single, like two weeks before the album, and I put that as the single because like I knew that would get attention. I knew that would get people keen because it was like the obvious like single song on the album. Yeah, th this guy, this guy I know from school called Kai. He um, he hit me up on Facebook and he said he likes the song and he wants to like do a gig basically. And so I linked up with him and his friend who are like they're actually a duo themselves. They make music. They're called the Fighting Fish. 
so they do like rap music and they already play gigs like often and so they hit me up and they said we'll open for you and you can be like the headline it can be your like album launch and I, I like I'd always wanted to do a show but I never really thought of how I'd like put it together and so they kind of were just like straight up they're like yeah we're gonna organize this whole thing for you we'll just get it all sorted for you we'll do everything we'll put out posters we'll put out the promotion because they got a label as well they're working on called Akron Street Records and so they're trying to like build that up and so they're like yeah we'll just host your event and I'm like all right sick and like because I always thought like yeah I want to throw a gig but like that's one of the things that I don't really know how to go about starting something like that I haven't prepared yet actually I haven't prepared at all I'm scared like not scared but like I think I'm like decently anxious for it because I feel like oh man performing I I don't really know what I'm going to do because the the album is like short enough that I can perform the whole thing and being that the case I want to perform the whole thing in the show in order like as it's supposed to be heard but like I wanted to start with Fuji because it seems a bit easier to perform and I want to like warm up with it but like I because like following that I want to I like I feel like I should start with Bonsai and like that's going to be like the one that needs the most performance so I probably should practice in front of people I haven't yet but I got like two weeks so <laughs> I'll, I'll come up with something <laughs> that's how it go I only, I only do that on the encore though I reckon yeah yeah, yeah too just easy. to finish the show like that yeah sick fuck yeah hell yeah dude you got the shit King. in the bag what it's a 5.54 so it's one and a half hours until the show starts. Probably about two hours till I get up there. Um, we've done, we've done rehearsals. We've done all that sound checking. Everything's good. I've been keen, you know, a bit nervous as to be expected. I feel, I feel good. I feel ready. I'm glad to get the chance to perform it. Like it's such a great feeling standing up there, even just in the rehearsal, just listening to the songs that I've made being played like that loud. It's just a crazy feeling to know that like I'm about to be doing this song. I'm pretty keen, I'm stoked for it. Yo, we are the Fighting Fish. Welcome to the underground. We're here for our Twinnesses album boys. Acheron Street Records holding a night of hip hop. Doesn't happen in Newcastle very much. So, enjoy the rest of the show. And this is how it goes. I feel like to me when I listen to music I listen to albums like that's just the way like I consume music I prefer to listen to like a whole album from start to back because like I appreciate what an artist kind of like I appreciate that process because I've always known how hard it is because I've always wanted to do it myself and I've never really been able to do it so I've always known how hard it is and so when like I listen to an album it kind of it's super inspiring super inspiring to me because you hear like it to me an album should be like one single thought but like with enough thought put into that thought that it's made interesting enough to last however long you want your album to be so it's like a moment in time it captures something and so i just wanted to capture something about myself which was like just like how I've been feeling the whole year. It's like evolution and change and like that process where you're kind of like learning and developing and you're becoming the new version of yourself and also like learning at the same time, like how to how to keep going with life while that change is happening. So that was the moment that I had and that was the moment that I wanted to capture. And I feel like it just happened naturally while I was making music through the year, through all those changes. And so it came across in the music. And so I was like, when it came time to put it together into an album, it just, it made sense because some of the songs on there, I wouldn't release by himself. They like, they sounded like they needed to be in an album. They sounded like they needed like the context of like the story and the other songs. Like they, they didn't sound like they could be by themselves. And so I was like, 
if I'm going to release these songs, which I wanted to because I'm so proud of them, if I'm going to release them, they need to be in the album. So it just made sense to like, all right, I'm going to put together just an album title, picture, title together. like one one day there to be like a person to say to me like I've genuinely had an impact like I've just wanted to reach people basically so I've always I've always put myself out there to some degree but I feel the older stuff that I've that I had or like before the album I never really put myself out there in an authentic way like it or like in a complete way I, I think the album was the first time that I, I have been able to like put something out that I can seriously say that I'm like proud of and like this is how I want it to be. And so, yeah, people knew I made music. They knew I'd done all that stuff, but it never really had the impact of the album. So when I put out Bonsai, I think that was like the first time I ever got like a reaction that like showed me that this was like the right thing like it wasn't just overlooked because people heard it like people were listening to it and people are following me and telling me like man i love the song so much and like that's the first like response i've ever gotten like that and so to see that response it's kind of like affirming like this is the right thing to do and so that kind of not gives you confidence but because it's still it, you need to you need to be confident in yourself to like put stuff out there to some degree. You you kind of need to throw away all your your pride. You need to be willing to to lose to like do something like that. And I feel like yeah, I was just it was kind of like I, w I was you, I think I think you need to be fine with failure to like a certain degree. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna limit yourself. Like you can't be afraid of of failing because then you're just gonna get nothing done. So when I put that out and then actually seeing it was like received well, that was kind of the moment where I'm like, okay, I need to teach myself now how to not be afraid to just express myself. Because a lot, some people find it natural, you know. I think everyone wants to express themselves. Everyone has something in them that's like, if they could just like tell someone or explain it in their own way and people actually listen then they would but a lot of people are afraid of that and I'm no different like you know, it, it's not easy and so to to kind of take that first step where you're doing that and then for people to actually support you it's like that can help you kind of go on to continue doing it in the future I got like I got like one comment on Facebook because I, I put I put it up on Facebook, like a little teaser of the video, and this a random guy commented on the video. He said, um, "He said every sun, every sun shower needs rain. That's such a stupid line. Of course it needs rain. Like that's the one guy that's kind of like, that's the yeah. I think I think that's the only person who's like openly said anything negative, which is fine. Like I obviously yeah, it doesn't really bother me at all because." I mean, the love over overpowers that so much, always will. But yeah, I just thought that was funny. And <laughs> just the, the guy, the guy, and like, I fully expect in the future to have people who are like, "Oh, this guy's so shit." And it's like that's fine because there's artists I don't like. I said, I guess the difference is I don't go around commenting and telling them they're shit because that's it's, it's just a waste of time. <laughs> Twenty nineteen, I'm gonna be releasing a lot of music. I'm I'm gonna. I'm gonna make cool stuff. I just, I, I don't know. I just want 
just to keep going. I just want to make something that people like. Like that's really all it is. Because I, I feel like I, the album I had, I had something to get out, which I said like the whole story or whatever. I feel like now it's out. I don't really have that like that need in me anymore where I'm thinking like I need to just express this. It's not like that anymore. I kind of feel chill now. If anything, all I feel is like I just have something to prove now that I can just keep making good music. And I want to. And I want to make better music. Like, I think I think everything I'm going to do from now on is going to be better. It's always going to just be going up and up. When I look back on Boy, I want to think it was... I want to think, looking back on Boy, that it was the thing that encouraged me to to really go for go for gold. Like, put, put my all into it. Because I've always put my all into music. But I think it's the first time it's really just like... It's come across how I wanted it to, so I want to look back on it and like thinking of it, think of boy as like a stepping stone to like to whatever great thing I'm gonna do next <laughs> to to whatever I decide to do next. Like I want it to be. I don't. Yeah, I, I want I want to look back on it and smile like an old friend. Think, man, what a, I, I miss you sometimes, but. So much other cool stuff has happened. <laughs> I guess if some of you said that you've seen the video, surely you like, you know some of the words. Maybe, I don't know. Tell me about your dream. I can tell you why it's worth a try. Every sunflower needs And every sun shower needs rain. Drop that shit. Inside a bottle, we can trap a blindside. Tell me about your dream. I can tell you why it's worth a try. Every side flower needs shade. Every side shower needs rain. Ship inside a bottle, we can trap a blindside. Tell me about your dream. I can tell you why it's worth a try. The bonnet in the motel room I'll be home soon Where the petrol fumes come from Oh, we left the door open Forgot to close it when we finished smoking 90 miles and we're in Oakland How we traffic something I can cope with it, boy? I don't want no one but you But I only see you one time a week Why don't you text me? I got empathy You want greenery? I got the recipe It ain't seem to be worth everything But I'm winning seeds in the wrong bed You been fucking with the wrong head I'm wrong! I'm on my way without you Bam! Ship inside a bottle We can trim a bonsai Tell me about your dream I can tell you why it's worth the try Every sun flower needs shade Every sun shower needs rain Ship inside a bottle We can trim a bonsai Tell me about your dream I can tell you why it's worth the try You said that the night is young, but the world We were drunk, I can't control it You told don't be dumb, stumble over Fixed up the thought of making something out of this You said that the night is young, but the world We were drunk, I can't control it You told don't be dumb, stumble over Ship inside a bottle We can trim a bonsai Tell me about your dream I can tell you why it's worth a try Every sunflower needs shade Every sun shower needs 